Hello YouTube, this is BlackOpsMania14 and uh, today I'll be uh, teaching you how to uh, fix your bricked Australian um, phone uh, for Samsung Wave uh, S8500 uh, version 1. Um, so basically, a couple of weeks ago I bricked my Australian phone uh, trying to upgrade it to um, an American and they are uh, different sort of firmware. Um, but I found something on the internet that found gave me uh, a lot of help in um, you know discovering what to do. So this is what you're gonna need, you're gonna need multi-loader and that I will put a link in the description for that and you're gonna need this firmware so the S8500 PXG5. Um, I'll put a link in the description for that too so that's the firmware to use. Um, and so, hold on, I'm just going to open up the internet browser. Go back and try and go back into multi-loader. Um, wait for that to work. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like. We need more for that on. Stupid internet. Let's get out of that. Quick. Okay, so now what you want to do is, um, you want to tick both boot chain and full download, um, the box is there, and it, right there where I'm pointing, it should say it's ready when it's, when you plug in your device, and then you do, you do port search, and it'd say ready Lismore, and then obviously you go tick the boot, boot change and full download, you can pick, uh, Last ROM if you want to, but I particularly found easy just to do full download and boot change. So then you what you do is you click on all the boxes going down to uh, to folder, but you don't do folder. And once you've clicked on that, you find where you've got installed firmware, and you click on all the folders until you go find boot files in the SA500 folder. Open that, go down and find apps. Click on that, open that. No apps here. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, then you go RSRC1, RSRC2. Make sure you click the right ones. That three is there. Yep. You. I oh know you can do open Europe com. That's what I did. It works well on Australian phones because I couldn't really find the proper Australian firmware, but it does work. Work well. Go down. You get CSC. Then you go. Uh, put it down the bottom, make sure you click the right one down the bottom. You don't really need to worry about any of the ones below there because it's not really mean much. Okay, and once you've done that, make sure it's ready to leave more. And once you've done that, go down and click download and then it'll come up um, on the side here in a minute when I point there. There, um, it should say about how it's going and go all the 100% whatever, once that's done you basically just unplug your phone and restart it. Um, now so that's basically, and I'll put the link for those two down in the description, um, and that's basically the way to fix your Samsung S8500 version 1 Australian model phone and hear me help out questions.